Hi, I'm Pastor Jack Davidson with another Lenten devotion. We begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Bible passage that we consider today, 1 John 1, verses 8 and 9. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Dear friends in Jesus, on September 22nd, 1998, a man by the name of Daniel Crocker confessed to a murder he had committed 19 years earlier. Why would he do such a thing? Nobody tracked him down. He was not on America's Most Wanted. Nobody knew who he was. Nobody even knew he was guilty. So why would he confess to a sin and a crime that he had gotten away with? Well, at the age of 38, with a wife and two young children, uh, Crocker came to a point in his life that he realized he was a sinner. He came to a point that he not only acknowledged the fact that he was a sinner, but he admitted the fault of his sin. He confessed his sin. He believed in Jesus Christ as a Savior. He received forgiveness, and as he began to grow in the Word and grow in the Bible and grow in faith, uh, he was convicted by the power of the Holy Spirit that there was one major sin that he never confessed they needed to own up to. And that's what he did. He confessed his sin of 19 years earlier when on a three-day high with LSD, he met a 19-year-old girl named Tracy at a convenience store. He took her out and killed her. There are no clues. The detectives had no idea that he was even a suspect. Everything was quiet for 19 years until Crocker came forward and confessed his sin. After 12 years of marriage, the birth of two young children, he could stand it no longer. He said goodbye to his two children and wife, boarded a flight from his home in Virginia, flew to Kansas City, met with prosecutors, pled guilty, served a term of 10 years in prison. When he was interviewed by the local news media and asked why he did it, he said, I know it's hard to understand, but it was the right thing to do. And the reason it was the right thing for me to do is because it's the only way I knew that I could become right with God and totally clean. Being right with God is all that matters. And that man is right. Being right with God is the only thing that matters in life. To have your sins forgiven, to be right with God, both in this life and in the next life. To have fellowship with God. Fellowship is our primary relationship because God has created us to be in fellowship with Him. From the beginning, a fellowship of life in which there's no death, no sin, a perfect existence, peace with God. It's a fellowship that you and I and the world so desperately needs. Because if we don't have that relationship, if we don't have that fellowship, well, relationships are killed. Divorces, family breakups, violence and abuse are all a result of sin. Sin is walking in darkness and it brings darkness to our souls, darkness to our lives, guilt, shame, anger, harms all relationships, whether with God or our neighbor. John, the Apostle John, reminds us that this is why Jesus came. Because we're sinners and we might have fellowship with the Father. Jesus is our advocate. He goes before the Father as our Savior. He speaks on our behalf because He was nailed to the cross. He suffered and died for you. He's the atoning sacrifice for your sin and all sin. And He restores you to oneness with the Father. That's what atonement means. One time we were enemies with God, but now we're friends with God on account of Jesus' life, suffering, death, and resurrection. In Leviticus 16, God required that once a year a goat would be sacrificed for the sins of the people. The goat's blood would be poured out upon the altar, and there immediately after this, another goat would be designated as the scapegoat. And upon his head, the sins of all the people would be placed, and then he would be taken away for the people for all time. That day is called Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the day when sinners became friends with God. On Good Friday, the Lamb of God, Jesus, hung on a cross, was crucified and died for you. He's the Lamb of God who takes away all your sin and the sins of the world. By His shed blood, you are forgiven. In Him we become friends with God. And as we confess our sins, Jesus is faithful and just. He forgives our sins, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. So then, now we are friends with God and we can live our lives.